Railroad photography can be a fun hobby, especially if you desire scenic locations, clear weather, and the railroad spot you're visiting promises to deliver plenty of trains. The experience can be rewarding, although two trains entering the picture can be twice as nice. We put together a collection of trains that were captured on the BNSF Cajon Sub where we happened to be standing at the right spot at the right time to get two trains meeting in front of us. We began with the natural crossover west of Frost. The day was September 27, 2020, and a westbound intermodal was seen making its way through the upper narrows of Victorville and began its ascent to Cajon Summit. When Santa Fe added a second track on Cajon Pass, it was aligned on a different route between Cajon and Summit with an easier grade than the original track. Because of this, what became known as the North Track was the preferred routing for eastbound traffic. However, this required left-hand running instead of keeping trains in the same direction as auto traffic would travel on highways. This was where the natural crossover came in handy. It was designed to naturally bring left-handed eastbounds back over to right-hand running. Likewise, the same applied to westbounds, as they naturally traveled up and over to run on the left side. This arrangement worked great, but was rendered completely obsolete in 1972 when Santa Fe installed CTC on the Cajon Sub. For years, rumors of realigning and removing the natural crossover have been heard. But until that fateful time ever comes, let's enjoy the views while we can. A manifest train from Tenet Union Pacific bound for North Platte, Nebraska passed the westbound. By this time, the stack train was running a tad slower as the entire train was now on the grade.
It's now November 20th, 2020, and we're a bit further east along the Cajon Sub. A westbound hauling FedEx trailers has just passed Hodge and approached our camera early on a cool autumn morning. Many rail fans have mistakenly believed this to be a Z train. In fact, it's only a repo move, so it didn't necessarily have to be there overnight. The eastbound Dago train, running from San Diego to Barstow, came out of the Hellendale Narrows. A meet was inevitable. We're west of Silverwood on Cajon Pass and caught this westbound on Main 3. and eastbound came up main one. Intermodal trains represent roughly 75% of today's rail traffic over Cajon. This meet was filmed on January 12, 2021.
Thanks for joining us for Cajon Sub Train Meets.